Om Shanti, welcome back. Today we're going to do the recording of 16th of July's Godly Blessing where Supreme Father wants us to have a balance between karma and yoga so that our decision-making power increases. Let's find out what does he have to say here. God says, may you be constantly carefree and increase your decision-making power keeping a balance of karma and yoga. Let's not careless, let's carefree. So God says only those whose intellects are able to make a correct judgment at the appropriate time are able to remain carefree. Because problems and circumstances are going to get tighter day by day. At such a time, if there is a balance of karma and yoga, you will then easily be able to overcome those things with your decision making power. So the situations are going to become tighter and tighter day by day. It's going to be your financial situations, maybe physical, maybe mental, emotional relationships and spiritual. But the spiritual situation doesn't get tighter. It becomes looser day by day. That means your mind becomes relaxed and you are able to make better decisions day by day, provided you are in constant karma and yoga. So then God says... Because of having this balance, you won't have any surprising questions about the blessings you receive from Bab Dada. So you will be able to overcome the things, the situations with your decision making power. Because of having this balance of karma and yoga, that means you're not just engaged in karma, but you're also meditating at the same time. And you're asking about your mind's questions from the Supreme Creator Himself. So you don't have any questions in your mind after you have released all your questions of why's and where's and how's by having the yoga or the connection with the Supreme Father. That's what we learn in meditation. We learn to contact and communicate with the Supreme Creator. So because of having this balance, you won't have any surprising questions about the blessings you receive from Bhaptada. Questions such as, why did this happen? Or what happened? You will always have the faith that there is benefit hidden in whatever happens. There's always benefit hidden in whatever happens. So why it happened? Why to me only? Why not that person? And when did it happen? All those questions are gone. Because you're in constant touch with the Supreme Creator and you know that it is His wish. And His wish is our command. So, what is his wish is what we get to know when the Supreme Creator is bestowing us with the blessings through meditation. What are those blessings and what is the method of meditation is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris in the seven day course. You two can go ahead, learn it, understand the communication part of the Supreme Creator and then find a balance between your karma and your connection with God for better results with the Om Shanti.